Hey everybody, it's Chris. I thought tonight I would show you how I mix my paints. I know everyone kind of has a different way that they do it and whatever you find that works for you, that's what you should stick with. And this is something that I have found that works for me and I just thought I would share with you what I do. Um, I have my pouring medium pre-mixed and I use just the Floetrol jug to pre-mix it. My pouring medium is four cups of Floetrol that I have strained, a cup of uh, glue all and half a cup of the Liquitex pouring medium and a quarter cup of water and I just usually do like a double batch and mix that up and just keep it pre-mixed on my shelf so that I'm ready to mix paint when I'm ready and I use just a this is a 12 ounce cup I like to mix it in a cup when I first start with a color just so that I get the right consistency but then I kind of cheat a little bit and tend to add my um, paints right from my tube into my condiment bottles once I have them mixed and put my Floetrol pouring medium in there and that's kind of worked for me. I just, after you've done it for so long, you just kind of figure out what consistency the paint needs to be and about how much paint you squeeze in versus how much Floetrol. So like I said, whatever you find that works for you, that's what you should do. Um, I buy these condiment bottles at Walmart. They're a dollar a piece. And then I just use a Sharpie and write the name of the color of paint that I'm doing on there. So this is light portrait pink and I'm going to mix up the Liquitex Basics tonight. Um, this is a brand new tube of paint. There's four ounces of paint in a tube. I usually figure I can do two ounces of paint and Floetrol and that makes a full bottle of paint for me. So I just kind of eyeball and kind of feel how much paint I'm putting in there. And so I squeeze in mm, what I feel like is probably about two ounces of paint. It could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less, but I'll just adjust my pouring medium to it. I always make sure that I shake my pouring medium before I use it because it does tend to settle. And then I'll start with just a little bit of pouring medium and mix my paint in so that I, I find that it's a lot smoother when I mix it in this way rather than just dump a whole bunch of the pouring medium in the cup then it's sometimes can be a little bit ch chunky depending on what brand of paint that you're using. You'll find when you're mixing up metallic paints, you really need to go slow when you put in your flow trawl or your pouring medium, whatever you're using. Just put a little bit at a time and then work it slowly because those um, paints tend to be super thick and they are just really hard to get mixed up thoroughly. So I've got some flow trawl in there, so we're just gonna add some more in up till about where I think it probably needs to be. And then I just wanna make sure that I mix this thoroughly. And I'm just kind of looking for, I don't know, everyone says warm honey or, you know, you just want it to drip just right. And I think that's just kind of one of those things that it's your personal preference. This is a little bit thick for me, so I'm going to add just a little more Floetrol or a little bit more of my pouring medium in there. Like I said, I get almost a full bottle of paint when I'm finished. So I'm looking more for consistency, and as you do this, you'll find, you'll be able to tell. I mean, you can just feel when it's right. Sometimes people say that if you pour it and it makes a line on the top of your paint and disappears, so you can kind of see like where that line is and then it just disappears, that's a good consistency as well. I still feel like this is a tiny bit thick, so we'll just put a little more pouring medium in there and then we should be in pretty good shape. So I believe that these bottles are about 12 ounces that I buy from Walmart. I've been using them for a couple of months um, and I've not had any issues with pre-mixing my paints and having those ready to go. So I'm going to say that's probably about a, could very well be a 16 ounce glass, or excuse me, a 16 ounce bottle because I had almost, a full cup of paint. It could be 12 ounces, I guess, by the time we get it all done. And then I just scrape it out and make sure that I get all of my paint out of there. And then I'm planning to do painting tonight. And I like to use my cups <laughs> and not waste them. So I will probably pour my paint right into that cup when I get ready to do my painting. So as you can see, I'm kind of sloppy. That's why I wear old clothes when I paint. And then I'll just end up wiping that rim off and then put my cap on and this bottle of paint is ready to go. 
If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much.